Okay guys, like I promised you to show you and explain to you how I did this small anamorphic lens and why it's so small like that and why you get that kind of uh, focus distance from one half a meter to infinity. So I will explain it to you right now how everything works and how I come up with this idea. So let me know from my previous videos those anamorphic lenses is it's easy to modify but you will not get that kind of di focus distance with this one and this one and all of those type of anamorphic lenses like I explained to you in my previous video it's easy to modify just cut the tube put the glasses together and you will get a uh, focus from two and a half meters to infinity and fine fine okay but with this one how I come up with this with this idea to do that kind of adapter anamorphic lenses so I dismount many many lenses and I dismount many anamorphic lenses like you see I have full box of different kind of lens lenses I dismount through the years, you know, different different kind of anamorphic lenses. So I collect I collect lots of glasses and that kind of stuff. So like you see here, those glasses are anamorphic glasses, like that. They look like that, and this one very heavy, very wide, you know anamorphic chunky anamorphic glass very heavy and this and that kind of glasses so one day I was just messing around with the glasses just looking after them and just twist it twist like to see how they works and blah 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 and I took one glass and and took another glass and just started to mess around like that. hmm whoa what I see I see sharpness over there and I go in farther and I see more sharpness and ooh, it's that's strange so what I did I just I look on the glass and just like hmm, this looks like this glass have a two glass inside and they glue it somehow together so I uh, split the glasses right so I split that kind of glasses and different kind of glasses like 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 this one that was one one glass when I split it two and a half so we have a two glasses so I will start messing around and like see whoa this 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 could this could works and I could change the distance not like with these glasses so you have a glass here and a glass here look how big a distance it is hmm so I start put those glasses like that and just put my uh, prime lens here and just start changing the focal length you know and changing the distance and I was looking on the pictures it's like whoa, whoa this with some glasses will works so this is how I come up with this idea but so far I make two anamorphic like that so far I have glasses here and so far those glasses what I have here doesn't work I would like it to work and as far as I know those uh, glasses are like uh, square glasses like this one and this one so far I know they are useless to me I cannot find focus with those kind of glasses so I already know from this lens because it's a square glass this front glass will not work as far as I know this one will not work but the back glass over here will work so I could use this glass and from this anamorphic lens I know this will work and this one will work as well because this is not the uh, this is not the square glass this is normal round glass so I already have this 
So this is from an old anamorphic lens, German anamorphic lens. This is not Kipter, it's a different one. And I know this back glass works with one of the glasses I divide, uh, I split a few months ago. So this is this this is the glass, and I know because I I look on the glasses and I see when I twist it. In my eyes, I see as a first test. I see with my eyes. I see the sharpness. I'm going here, going closer together. I see the sharpness going here, looking far away, twisted. Oh, I see the sharpness. So I already know this will work. This those two glasses will work. So. I think from these two glasses I could design new uh, anamorphic like, like this one. But as far as I see, this anamorphic will be sm slightly uh, longer than this one. And also, if I know this mo this uh, will not work, but body. Let's remember, body is very important because the body are very, very, very useless, uh, very uh, useful. Sorry, very useful. Like this body, just going here and just just sli slide like that. So I know this body like that will be very, very, very useful. So, so this anamorphic lens, I will show you after this my talk. Uh, I will show you short uh, video clip to showing you how this lens perform. But remember, this is still uh, old anamorphic lens, right? This is still have old glasses in it. They are not super perf perfect, so like straight from the, some kind of factory when they make glasses, right? But they are still nice. They are still nice, good looking. There's no scratches on it. Works fine. Um, and also I'm using glue because I'm using this, uh, that, that type of glue because I know when this glue will go in hard, the hard, the hard and very, very fast, and it it works like a rock. It's hard like rock. So I'm 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 happy to use glue, glue like that. I know some people don't like uh, using glue like that. I understand, but I'm I'm working with those glues like that and works fine for me. So. I already on this lens. I already uh, glue the ring, so I put a 72 ring. I glue over there, and this ring have a 49 millimeters. So this works like that. So now let me put this glass together here. Okay. So with 550D, just for the example, I have the 28 millimeter lens here with 550D. So I putting this lens like that. One second. Why don't have a... oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, not that lens. <laughs> I have 50. One second, I will show you. So I have 50 millimeter lens. So I will put this to this adapter here. An old lens, but still good. Well, I'm still using it. I'm still happy with it. So you put this lens like that and you will put this one like that. And voila! It just works like that. And now you probably will ask me how I align the, the uh, anamorphic lens, right? It's quite very simple. What I will do, because I'm not using this right now, so what I will do, what I will do, I will buy another ring to attach here and I will twist all the way to where the ring will stop and what I will do I will apply glue on this side of the ring where its fret is right and I will put this together like that like that and I will align the on the level I will align the anamorphic straight look on the flashlight or something align and I know its glue is there and I will leave it and I will leave it for 5-10 minutes, it will dry, it will be hard and dry. Then so after that you, you, will, you will unscrew and you will have the ring, what you, you already aligned here. So you know every time you will uh, screw the, the lens 
to the ring and it will stop align perfectly so this is what I will do. what what uh, I will do so yeah guys um oh what about the splitting the glasses well what I did uh, all the time I was I was using very sharp uh, very sharp blade and I was putting blade inside between those two glasses and I will pushing slightly very gently slightly slightly and I noticed the glasses start splitting splitting split splitting but uh, I have a suggestion from Facebook from the anamorphic shooter uh, they recommend me to boil the the glass I didn't try it yet but I will try to boil the glass and split it like that so uh, guys um, if you will have more questions and uh, everything uh, just just let me know just leave the comments on my youtube channel or whatever just contacted me so yeah this is it this is what i could uh, tell you about this anamorphic adapter uh, new idea right so i hope you will uh, you, I, think, I think you have some anamorphic glasses guys so I hope you will start uh, messing around with it I messing around this long time so I'm comfortable to destroy those sometimes lens or you know so yeah I hope this guys I uh, hope you I hope you understand me because my English is not that perfect now I will tell you because I was thinking about this few days single anamorphic lens and it's possible I think it is possible Ima this is the anamorphic lens right and we know to adjust the focus we need to use that and the prime blah 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 and we know the prime moving your from the sensor to this glass and you we using this glass and everything works like that awkward I know I know but imagine like that imagine if we swamp this glass with this glass so we have body like that so this is the front glass this is the back glass and now this will fix and stationary only this will move and imagine your prime prime lens it's fixed here so when you're moving this one this is going closer to your sensor or far away from your sensor this is fixed and this this moving so only this moving so theoretically I think will works and this could be single focus anamorphic lens but now the problems I see um, is if this will work this idea will work uh, you will have to design if you're using free free uh, uh, lenses like 35, 50 and you have 80 because you like you changing them to shooting your movie or whatever you'll have to do uh, free of that kind of design to work with so sometimes don't you think it's better to design one adapter for your all anamorphic lenses I don't know it's up to you if I will have a time uh, I will try and do just one to see if theory, theory, theoretically work the single focus anamorphic lens and theoretically I think will work and guys if you have a time just I hope you will use my idea and I hope this idea will work just try and error right alright okay guys so where the uh, problem lies uh, in my opinion it's not about the glasses the glasses could be like we have straight from anamorphic lens the problem lies in the body itself because the body are designed for projection projectors anamorphic not for the movie and they quite limit they quite limit the rails so you go not far from here to there here to there but if the, someone could design like some engineer with CNC machines could design different body body with rails twice bigger and longer than this and you will get proper uh, 
close up because it has to go closer to each other and far away from each other for infinity. Will go on like that, so that will be very, very nice. But unfortunately, those bodies are have a limitation. That's it, and no problem with the glasses. The glasses are no problem. Only the body. And uh, one more thing: if you look on the Panavision uh, pattern about the anamorphic uh, lens, um, this is the true anamorphic lens, and true anamorphic lens have a glasses anamorphic glasses going far away from each other to closer to each other, right? And I was never fan of diopers on something like uh, infinity anamorphic lens because this is not true anamorphic lens. The true anamorphic lens is only when you have closer glasses to each other and far away from each other. Not some kind of uh, <laughs> yeah, glass on front anamorphic lens. This, this is not true. This is not completely true, and also uh, infinity. What is the infinity anamorphic? We don't mean we don't want to use infinity anamorphic lens. We want to use close-ups and infinity. Then yes, that is great. But unfortunately, this is not uh, like that. And the upper never works for me when I start working with the anamorphic lenses long time ago, and they introduce the uppers. I knew straight away. No, 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 no. This is not the way. I would like to go. So there you go, guys. Uh, one more thing I forgot to, to tell you that uh, 550D small sensor, and I will put 28 millimeter lens over here, and turn on. So you see, this is 28 millimeter, of, 28 millimeter of lens, and when I, I don't have a ring, proper ring, uh, step ring to fit it, so I'll just put it like that, and like you see, 28 millimeter of on the small sensor adapter, and like you see, works. Like you see, works. There's no vignette. There's no shadow, no nothing. So I know this anamorphic lens work of the small frame from 28 millimeters to more and more, like 80 to even 100. I will not go more than 100 because, you know, like I will explain in the video, uh, uh, you zooming through the anamorphic glasses more and more and you're losing sharpness. You, you will you lose more and more sharpness. But like that works. Perfect, perfect. On full frame, max I would say will be from 40 millimeters to more. I have only 50, so I did test uh, on the full frame 50 millimeters. So yeah, there you go. Works like that. 28 millimeters. It's very white, and uh, flare because it's so white doesn't. It just look like a string, like a line across the, the 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 picture but yeah there you go all right see you guys okay guys uh all the shots have a wide open aperture a uh, 50 millimeter have 1.8 and all the rest have a 2.8 aperture open uh, of course you will lose some uh, sharpness when you're using zoom lens like 135 millimeter lens because you're zooming through the anamorphic glasses but uh, my opinion the sharpness of those shots are decent for that kind of uh, anamorphic lens so with this lens the closest focus you will get will be 57 centimeters to infinity I hope this simple test uh, will show you how this uh, anamorphic lens perform. I hope you like this video and if you have any questions just uh, leave the comments below and like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys to the next time.